Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another AZ140 uh, exam topics episode. Um, we are halfway through topic 10 now, it's about 15 topics altogether, so we're about three quarters of the way through. Um, and hopefully you're all gaining something from this, and I do appreciate everyone's feedback. Um, so today's going to be episode 3 within topic 10, or part 3. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So my socials as normal, uh, don't worry about making a note of them, they're in the description as well. Um, so, a um, bit of a reintroduction as to who I am, my name is Shabazz Dan, as I mentioned, and I am I am the IMIT Geek, as I said as well in the intro. Um, I'm an infrastructure master, so I've been working with Microsoft Cloud Technologies for about 10 to 15 years, AVD specifically since its inception, uh, so just around, just before COVID started. Um, I'm a Microsoft MVP uh, in two categories, Azure as well as Enterprise uh, Mobility. I'm also a Nerdio MVP, so you know it's a lot of Nerdio content in my in my channel. I'm doing some Nerdio. I'm doing a Nerdio demo today, a bit of an overview for people who don't know what it is. Um, and I've also published a book on this topic. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a published author. So I've done a book on the AZ140 study guide, which is the configuring and operating Microsoft Azure Virtual Desktop topic. Uh, so a bit of a breakdown. We are part three of topic ten, as I mentioned. We're going to talk about installing Microsoft Office using FSLogix application containers. Talk about configuring Cloud Cache. We're also going to talk about configuring profile containers. And finally, do a bit of an overview of a Nerdio platform and what that can do. So let's talk about installing Office, most always using FSLogix application containers. So um, using Office containers, both applications and users use, use see the portion of the profile managed by Office containers as if they're located on the local drive. All benefits of that are containers are automatically when using profile containers. So you, know, you, you don't need to really use them if, if, if you're using profile containers. There's no need to implement Office containers if Profile Containers is your primary solution for managing profiles. Um, so as we can see, you offload the Office apps, it takes a snapshot or back, backup of your VM takes less resources as well. Having an automated pipeline for updating a single image makes updating your VMs easier as well. And you only need one image to install Office. So let's talk about configuring Cloud Cache now. Um, so again, another quite important topic for this exam. Um, so it, this is an optional add-on to Profile Containers and Office Containers. Um, and it's, it's for SMB profile containers um, and um, all settings that are applied to, to sort of the, like, reg the registry entry so you can have the, the cloud cache uh, the loca locations um, again you need to put the value in with the, with the type the connection string um, and uh, the location of your second folder so this is a, a kind of a allowing a bit of a roaming location for your profile office containers and it's good for sort of DR situations as well um, and then, so that's for the SMB profile container. Well, then we've got the Office con uh, container um, cloud cache as well. So all settings are applied to HKLM software, FSLogix, ODFS, ODFC, sorry. Again, you've got two registry values really that, that are required. Others are optional. So make sure you enable it and put the D word value of one. But again, you have that CCD locations value as well, which needs to match. Um, and then you finally got the, the cloud cache for profile containers. And again, enabling it, same, um, but also the CCD locations. Again, make sure you're following that value string um, correctly. Let's talk about configuring profile containers now. So we have done the demo for this already. Um, uh, but profile container is a fully, it's a fully remote profile solution, as we've mentioned, and it's for non-persistent environments. And um, it obviously allows you to redirect the entire user profile to that remote location. Um, it defines how and where the profile is redirected to. Uh, it's inclusive of, of the benefits found within Office containers. And when you're using both, uh, when you're using profile containers, sorry, both applications and users see the profile as if they were located on a local drive. And we've mentioned all these things already. But again, the, the, from a registry entry perspective, it's that HK local machine, software, FSLogix profiles. And again, the two, that are two entries that are required are to enable it, make sure you have a data value of one, and a reg D word, but also the VHD location. That's normally the um, file share for user your file share that you create as well. Uh, so it is now demo time, and this is where I'm actually going to do a demo of um, of Nerdio, do an overview of what Nerdio is um, and some of the cool features it has. So this is more again, I've got other Nerdio content on my channel, which I'll put the link in the description. So make sure you do kind of take a look at that. But it's just a quick overview of Nerdio, and we are going to do a couple more things within Nerdio in different demos. Um, in future episodes. So let's jump over to the demo portal. 
Welcome back. Here we are in, um, we're actually back in the, the Azure portal here, um, but then I've, I've obviously um, loaded up Nerdio Managed for Enterprise as well. So this is my own community version um, for Nerdio. So there's two different versions of Nerdio. For those that don't know, Nerdio is, Nerdio do a solution to manage ABD within one environment. So, you know, we're talking all aspects of ABD, not just like the host pools and stuff like that, but, you know, as you can see, you know, the workspaces, the endpoints, the images, the applications, uh, the storage, the RBAC, um, everything, um, monitoring, all under one pane of glass. Whereas with, with when you're talking the Microsoft portal, obviously the, the different things like the storage configuration, the hospital configuration, the image configuration, all have their separate areas within the Azure portal. So this is where Nerdio really brings a massive benefit for, for businesses. Um, and you can do so many things in it. And again, if, if you do know ABD, then you, you, you must know Nerdio because they're a really, really integrated, uh, you know, uh, option and a really good integrated partner of Microsoft's. Uh, Microsoft themselves, I mean, when we I said I went to NerdioCon last week and or the week before, sorry, and, uh, you know, all the big wigs within um, Microsoft ABD community were there, including Scott Manchester, you know, the, the, the godfather of ABD, as I like to call him. But there was just Tom Hinkley as well. There was Jim Moyle. There was a lot of the Microsoft product team there for AVD and um, Windows 365. So, you know, but obviously um, Microsoft are find the Nerdio partnership very important. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick overview of it. So this is all sort of the dashboard. I've, I've just up updated mine to the latest version, which is the, I think it's 5.7.2, which is available through general availability. Um, and again, this is just a dashboard, which gives you sort of um, information about, um, again, more like most dashboards, give you a bit of an overview of things like, you know, the, the named users, the highest host pools, highest concurrent users, the highest hosts, monthly activity, high CPU cores. You also configure sort of custom views. Um, again, this is where you can sort of manage your workspaces. I've only got one workspace. Um, again, it gives me some information around that. From here, I can look at configuring dynamic hosts or static host pools. Um, again, this is actually deployed, but Nerdio is actually deployed within the Azure Marketplace and you, you deploy it within your... Um, it has to be a blank resource group, so I'm not I'm not going to show how to do that within this and within these demos because I want to keep it high level. Um, I am doing some Nerdio content around the exam content coming up, which I'm not going to give too much away. But the Nerdio has its own exams, and I'll be doing some content around that after the AVD. Once I will go through how to deploy it within there. Um, as we go down to endpoints, so this is the integration with uh, with Intune, which is which is quite new and, and really impressive. Uh, so again, managing the device itself, you don't have to do that through Intune. You can do it all through here. Uh, again, it does all the policies and you can get all the device details. You can force a sync, you can restart, you can rename the device. Um, and then if we go down to, you know, you've got the Windows 365 capability there. I think I've got a couple of errors there. I don't think I have, um, I don't have Windows 365 within my platform. That's why it's probably got all these errors. Um, but then you can also look at compliance reports as well, performance reports and policy management. So this is where you can actually configure, um, create new policies and do the different policy you know, compliance or device compliance. So again, really powerful that you can do, you know, manage all the Intune aspects of AVD and that management within uh, Nerdio Manager for Enterprises. Also, there's two versions of Nerdio Manager, by the way. There's the MSP version or there's the Enterprise version. I've gone for the Enterprise version for my community edition. And that's another great thing about Nerdio. They do a community edition. So if you have your own tenant, your own personal tenant, they'll give you a free license, um, which I think is amazing. Um, so again, as you can see up here, we've got the different compliance policies, we've got configuration policies that we can create as well, security baselines that we can create, conditional access, Intune app policies and Windows updates ring. So again, this is all the Intune stuff, all the Intune content and policies within Nerdio for Manager for Enterprise. So again, you don't have to go to a separate separate um, area. Uh, you don't have to go to a separate management suite because obviously um, Intune is its own, it's got its own administrative portal. You don't have to go to it. You can do it all within the deal, which I think is a really big time saver. And again, you don't, you, you don't need to know. It's, it's a skills thing as well. You can just learn Nerdio and you can learn all these things. It's all within the Nerdio platform. You don't need to learn Intune, for example, because you can do it all through. You do and you don't need to know. You need to know Intune, you need to know what the policies are and how to use them. But, you know, you can, as long as you know, know Nerdio and how to manage Nerdio, um, you can, you know, there's a, there's a skills aspect as well. You don't have to be as skilled with Intune. Um, and then we can also do the images, as I mentioned. Um, so this is where you can create images. Um, I'm getting weird errors. I think because I've just updated, maybe I'm getting some weird errors. But this is my image, and I can update that as and when I need to. 
Um, so something that's huge, in my opinion, with Erdio is this unified catalog and unified app manager. So you can manage all types of your different applications, including uh, MSIS app attach, including um, sort of your chocolatey apps, your, your Wingate app. So any type of app that you deployed, it's got loads of different options and you can configure them. So SCCM apps, app attach. Um, so you can create deployment policies here. Click on add and you can create a new policy. Um, or you can, you know, add an application. You can add a new target. So there's lots of different aspects you can do around app management. And, and it's got a lot of variety as far as you can do it from SCCM, Intune, Wingate, Chocolatey, even the Windows, um, part of the Windows Store. Um, so very, very, very powerful um, is a unified application manager. And, and I'm, I'm a big fan of it personally. Um, so as we go down again, we can do uh, scripted actions. So these are just ways of automating processes. So we've got Windows scripts, we've got loads of, so these are all normally created as and when a user or a, or a client um, ha can do like requests to get certain things. Um, and this, you know, Windows scripts or Azure scripts or scripted action groups. So again, um, I love the way Nerdio developed there too. You know, they very much listen to their clients and there's loads and loads of scripted actions um, I can't remember how many, but page one of five. So we've got to scroll. So I'm showing 50 there. And oh, so we've got about 45 items. So 45 window scripts there. From an Azure Runbox perspective, they've got 26. Then scripted actions. Um, again, this is where you can add a scripted action group. Um, so again, I'm going to go a lot more into detail around this during the, 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 the series that I do around the Nerdio exam. So I just want to do a bit of an overview of and show you some of the capabilities. Monitoring again, you can do the, you can integrate it with Azure WVD Insights. Um, it obviously takes you there and you can do your monitoring and all your configuration there. Uh, so again, very, very powerful. And once you've, once you've, once you've um, done that, obviously you'll, you'll be able to manage all your monitoring um, from Nerdio. You also manage storage. So your, your, your Azure files, your Azure NetApp files as well. So as you can see, I've got my my one profile. Um, you can integrate NetApp files as well. You can link as your NetApp volumes, add a, a, a you know volume as well. You can also manage your log analytics from here as well. Manage your different roles as well. So again, the assignments, the definitions. Um, and this is not not just for for AVD, but also for Nerdio. Who can access Nerdio? Um, and again, same with alerts and notifications. You have got your logs as well. You can look at your different Nerdio logs if you try to troubleshoot Nerdio or AVD. And you've got this option where you can look, configure different settings for the Azure. So integrate it with your Ontar ID, your subscription, you can you, which resource groups are linked, which networks are linked. You integrate Intune, Unified Endpoint Management here. This is your Nerdio environment where you can do the other integrations with Nerdio. So your Unified Application Management. Uh, so I need to have, I've linked my Winget public, my shell apps as well. You can add links. So I need to link an SES, SESM server at some point. As your Runbook configuration email notifications um, and again you know do you manage your database resilience so um, some really good integrations as well with other third-party products like um, control up fs logics as your monitoring sites sepago rest api app attach storage as your stack hci clusters which is obsolete now um, here's where you can do configure auto scaling profiles as well massive on scaling and auto scaling is nerdio um, and finally at the bottom this is where you can update the different versions so obviously you can have private previews or public previews. Um, so again, really powerful tool if you're managing AVD. If you're not, if you're using AVD and you're not using Nerdio, I strongly recommend you you um, look into it because again, a very, very powerful tool. Um, so I just want to do a bit of an overview of just a bit of a quick demo for you guys. I'm going to be doing loads more Nerdio content coming up, so stay tuned for that after the AVD series. Um, so that is episode three of Topic Tender. We've got the final episode coming up. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Loads of useful links in my description. The Measure Up exam uh, link. You know, if you want to do, if you want to purchase a practice exam, Measure Up do some great discounts. So I've put the link for the AVD discount within the link uh, description. Also, link to my AZ140 book that I created and published, um, and also a link to my socials as well as the GitHub Lab repository as well. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.